I think the best intros are when I don't even do an intro <clears throat> and I just jump right into whatever it is I'm talking about or whatever it is like is on my mind at the very start. In this case it's olives, I just had some green olives. I actually wanted black olives but we didn't have any. We only had, uh, you know, green olives. Which is fine, I like green olives too, I like black olives also but Green olives are a lot more intense to eat than black olives are, I feel like. They... Yeah, they're just more intense to eat. Like, I, I can eat 10 plus black olives in one sitting, but I could not eat 10 plus green olives in one sitting. I mean, circumstances permitting, I guess. If I, if I really found myself in a situation where it was like, eat 10 green olives or die, I think I would probably find it in myself to eat 10 green olives. But it's like, it's like the saltine challenge. You know, you can't eat too many of them or you just like explode or whatever exactly is supposed to happen to you when you do the saltine challenge. I don't know exactly. I've never done it. Not cool enough to have done the saltine challenge. All right, this guy's getting squished. This might be the most clever plant in the whole game, the squash. He squashes you, and his, he's a squash. <laughs> it's literally perfect. They were cooking. And it's funny when you say they were cooking about anything in this game, because it's all edible. Well, is it all edible? Can you eat? Yeah, people eat like sunflower seeds. I don't know if people eat sunflowers, like just in the raw seems like something people would do. I can like picture in my mind's eye a, a sunflower head grilled on like a, on a, on a, well on a grill dare I say is where you would be doing grilling. Um, I brought a lot of explosives and stuff on this level because it's got the gargantuar who is the hardest zombie in the game, full stop. Um, just loads of health. At a certain point, he throws another zombie like deep into your defenses. He's just trouble with a capital T. He squashes your plants instantly. He doesn't eat them. He's not super fast, but yeah, Gargantuar is a menace. Absolutely a menace. Come on, boom, all right. Um, so that's what the explosives are intended for. For gargantuar population control. Luckily none so far. <clears throat> but I wouldn't be surprised if we got one on this first wave. Actually, I could see this level not giving us any gargantuars until like... Uh, the final wave. Because that's, that's just how hard they are. Is... is they are final wave doesn't show up till then hard to deal with. They're all over the place in the second game. They're only in a handful of levels in this game. Like as you can see, it's level five, eight, and the game ends on level sixty. Um, and they're only just now showing up. You know, we've been here. We've been planting. I almost wonder if I should do more cabbage pulse instead of kernel pulse, specifically to counter the uh, the gargantuar, but we'll see. Something I'm trying to work on is saying uh and um when I'm talking. I used to believe that it was like it just indicated that you were taught that you were thinking. And therefore that you had still had more to say like it is it is filler but it's not it's not without purpose oh yeah no go to the antor that's nice um there it is i just did it without even thinking just because i didn't know what exactly i was going to say next i ummed oh there he is okay all right okay 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 so first i'm gonna squash him Boom. So you know how the squash does not instantly kill him. Then I'm gonna jalapeno. Boom. Okay, handled. 
quite expensive, but handled. I mean, you gotta respect the infrastructure of this house, that it can support the weight of an entire gargantuar zombie. Even when it slams down its mighty post. Alright, full twin sunflowers, that's good. Don't know if I even needed to do that last one, but I did. So whatever. I'm trying to stay ahead of potted plants just because you never know when a no good gargantuar is going to spawn or where. Should I keep planting or should I stop to save my money? Well, I'm getting money pretty quickly. Speaking of money, I was looking at the shop uh, before I started recording and uh, we're close to being able to afford 20,000 or, well, yeah, it's $20,000 to get nine seed slots. We're almost there. I am at like 15,000 or so. I did have to buy a few things for the Zen Garden, but you know that is what it is. Some, 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 some prices you just have to know you're gonna pay. All right. Oh my God, what a whiff! Whiff of this fucking century, actually. It's okay. I think I'll still have it covered, but definitely a whiff. So I'm pretty confident I won't beat the game on this one. I, I mean, maybe I will. It depends how long the next level takes though, but the next level is like the real final level of the game where you can pick your plants and everything, so I'm expecting, you know, some amount of length to it. I don't think it'll be a, a walk in the park. I mean, this level's already going on seven minutes. Which, I guess I don't know if that's long or not. Also, I should hang on to this flower pot. All right, there's the guard on the bottom. Um, jalapeno. Cherry bomb. And the imp, he's trouble, but he's got half the amount of health as a normal zombie, so he's not too much trouble. Yeah, there you go, 15,000 a mat. Does heavy damage to groups of zombies. This is the final pult, a classic pult, you gotta admit. And look who, oh my god, gang's all here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna want sunflower. Twin sunflower's been working for me. Flower pot. We'll take one each of the pults. I feel like they want me to bring umbrella leaf, but I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm gonna bring jalapeno to deal with the ladder guys. And squash? This is tough, but yeah, we'll go squash. I probably could have sacrificed the cabbage pult or the kernel pult for something else, but whatever. The melon pult, you'll notice three times the price. The reason being it is just that good. It is really like probably the best plant in the game. Um, it's cheaper than a three-peater, think about that. I think it takes out a regular standard issue zombie in like, I don't know, two or three hits. It's a powerful guy and it has splash damage. So any zombies nearby will take some amount of damage as well. It's just a great plant. And it's uh, extremely funny to look at, I would say. He, it, the, the pult is smaller than the melon that he's pulting. Uh, okay. I was, I was thinking about getting a twin sunflower and then trying to squash this guy, but I don't think that was the smartest idea. That might not have even been the smartest idea. But if it works out, which it looks like it will, hard to complain. 
So the plan is a, a row of cabbage pulse, then a row of kernel pulse, and then I'll try and get the melon pulse out. It actually might behoove me to try and do the melon pulse further back, and then the kernel pulse in front of that. But uh, we'll see, I guess. I'm gonna squash this guy. I also like Kalamata olives, but I don't like Kalamata olives as much as just a standard black or green olive. I do think it's strange that black olives by default are pitted and there's nothing in there, but green olives by default are pitted and there is something in there. I just think that's a very strange, it's strange that that distinction is drawn in, in the olive space. Like what makes a green olive so different that it needs to have something? Like are green olives not good? Oh, that was scary, but we're good, but it's fine. So why, why even freak out about it? Okay, I need to save up for another twin sunflower, I think. But I'm not sure. The other thing about olives is that they make oil, and olive oil does not taste like olives at all, in my opinion. Maybe it's different olives that you eat versus turn into oil. That's believable. I, I would believe that if somebody told me that were the case. But I've never heard that before. You know, no one's ever told me that. So if it is the case, it's a mystery to me. Okay, now we're going to start saving up for Melon Pulp, and I'm going to probably try and get it in one of the middle three rows before I get it on the edges, because the splash damage goes across rows. It actually does probably pair quite nicely with the Umbrella Leaf, um, since it takes up an extra slot, like you could do Melon, Umbrella, Melon, Umbrella, Melon, or, or vice versa, and you'd have full coverage. The problem with the Melon Pulp is that they don't fire unless there is a zombie in the lane you've planted them in. So even though the splash damage will hit other zombies, if there's no zombie to aim at properly, it's not going to do anything. But you can just see this bucket head is getting work done on him. I mean, like, this this should be enough. Three pea shooters would not be enough. But this, this motley crew, this gang, they're sufficient. Oh god. Um, compared to this bucket head who got all the way here and didn't even get a dent in the bucket versus this one who died on the third square in. And it's simply undeniable. Let's see here, is this gonna be too little too late? I hope not. A couple well-timed butters ought to help. No butters are coming out though, you'll note. Oh boy, come on butter, oh thank God. All right, I'll put one there. Once again, some well-timed butters are gonna be essential. I mean, this is the proper last level of the game. This is like, this is like the last level in a Mario game before Bowser's Castle, where it's like, you know Bowser's Castle is gonna be some shit. They're gonna do some kind of quirky gimmick. But the level before that, there's no expectation of a quirky gimmick. I'm just gonna squash this guy. I don't think I could get the melon out fast enough, even with well-timed butters, which I evidently wouldn't have gotten. All right. Hey, I got full twin sunflowers. I didn't even notice. I was just too busy admiring my melons. They all have fun eyebrows. All of them do. I like all of their eyebrows. It makes me like make extra notice of plants that don't have eyebrows. Like the twin sunflower has no eyebrows. Just a just a 
a clean smiley face for the twin sunflower. Nothing too complicated, you know. He's a humble fl he's a humble plant. Oh boy, okay. Uh, basketball guy is gonna be trouble. I might even go so far as to squash him. Okay, 500 sun, second big wave. We should be covered. Any Gargantuars coming? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he blew up. Don't, again, I, I don't know what makes him blow up. I just know that he does. Come on. Don't let him keep that. Oh, you son of a... Okay. So I was really concerned about Gargantuars on that round, but they didn't come. Get them both. Nice. Oh, that sucks. All right. And we're back. We're so back. So I have a couple options. I could start digging up the cabbage pulse in the back and replacing them with melon pulse, or I could start putting another row of melon pulse out front. Neither of those, like, I guess putting them out in front is the better idea. My concern is just that zombies are gonna get close enough to start eating them. And then at that point, it's kind of a waste of sun. Like this guy totally could eat this melon if there was a melon here. Well, maybe not, there was a well-timed butter. But as much as I love the well-timed butter, you can't rely on a well-timed butter, you know? You can't have a, a defense built on butter. I have enough sun that I feel like I'm vindicated if I just go all out and start planting MFers. It's got a pretty quick, quick replant time, you know, considering how good it is, so... It doesn't really hurt. I got this corksicle cup for Christmas for my sister, um, and it's keeping my water ice cold. Not to be sponsored by corksicle or anything, but I mean, it is keeping my shit ice cold. No! See, losing a twin sunflower and losing the melon pole is annoying, but it's like, it's not the end of the world. Oh wait, he didn't take him. Did he did he get killed before he could take him? That's pretty funny. Alright, I don't know what to do about this gargantuar. I'm gonna try and let him get to half HP naturally. That's when he throws the uh, the imp. There we go. Okay. Now it's just these evil bucket heads. Boom. Boom! Homeowner, you have failed to submit to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please remit your home and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Edgar Zomboss. Um, so on the next one, Edgar Zomboss.